So I'm back with another video in the Bartholin Cyst series. And today we are going to talk about Bartholin Cyst treatments. So if you want to know the treatments that I have tried, the treatments that I prefer, keep watching. So hey, Miss Lady, my name is Quinn. I am your RN best friend. And on this channel, I talk about story times, reviews, and all kinds of information regarding feminine wellness on the inside and the outside. So if that interests you, make sure you click that thumbs up for me and you subscribe. Okay, if you haven't seen my other videos that I've made about Bartholysis, I'm gonna leave a link in the comments and in the, the uh, description because if I don't say that right now I'm gonna forget to say it later on so <laughs> let's so, go into so the video. So far we have talked about Bartholin's causes and I have shared with you the story of when I discovered my Bartholin cyst and in today's video again we're talking about treatments but make sure you stay to the end because at the end I'm gonna tell you the number one treatment that I suggest that works best for me might work for you you know all that good stuff. So I want to first go into a quick overview if this is maybe your first time seeing any of the videos just really quickly touch on what a cyst, Bartholin cyst is and where they come from. But if you already seen that videos that talk about those and you can just skip to right here somewhere and then you know we can go ahead and jump into the next part. Okay, so Bartholin cysts originate from Bartholin glands. They are loci located, <laughs> located on both sides of the vaginal opening. They're responsible for lubrication. When they get clogged up, we start having some troubles, and that's where it, the clog causes it to swell, and we get a cyst. Boom! Wasn't that fast? So, you, so the treatments, you can have different kinds. So, you know, you got the home remedies, you got the, um, like, the medications you can take, and you got the procedures that you can have done to, you know, try to treat these Bartholin cysts. So, let's go ahead and start first of all with, um, let's start with the, with the treatments when you go to the doctor. Let's talk about some medications the doctor likes to give you for Bartholin cysts. Okay, so if you have a Bartholin cyst, um, and you go to the doctor for it, the doctor is more than likely going to go ahead and do an exam. You know, they want to take a look to see what's going on down there. And if it turns out that it's, it, it is inflamed, then they're probably going to offer you a couple of options. One of them is going to be some antibiotics because antibiotics are going to help decrease that inflammation and that's the thought process behind that so they're going to offer you some antibiotics around the antibiotics you're going to take those and hopefully your cysts will go down it will go down now it probably will come back <laughs> it probably will come back that's how it kind of goes but if they don't offer you that they may not offer you anything if it's not inflamed you know i don't know it depends on who your doctor is and what your doctor you know how they feel about stuff Another thing they may do is actually they might offer like to incise it, which is to cut into it and to drain it. If it is really causing you a lot of problems or if you've already tried the antibiotics, that sometimes is the next step. Now, with that, they give you like some numbing medicine. They, they numb you before they do it. So they're not just, you know, they, they numb you beforehand those two options and then there is one more option so the third step is quite similar to the, you know the incision that i told you about this one is called marsupialization <laughs> you know some people not you but some people know they like to come for me because i mispronounced some words but come on you know marsupialization Anywho, what it is, is when the doctor actually cuts a little slit into the cyst and then they use sutures on either side to keep it open so that it drains over several days. Yeah, 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 okay? That's an option, that's an option. But let me talk to you about the options that are a little, or a lot actually, a lot less <laughs> um, uh, invasive or, or traumatic or, yeah, I would be traumatized by that. I mean, yeah, probably would. So let me go ahead and talk to you about the others. Now, le now let me say, I'm not, whatever, whichever method you decide to treat your sis is your prerogative, okay? It's all good either way. But some less invasive options are gonna be number one, a good old fashioned 
sits bath. <laughs> I can remember being in nursing school and put, I say that because it's been 20 years ago, since over 20 years ago since I was in nursing school. But I remember putting women on cis baths after they had a baby. And it's just, you know, the pain and the high water, but you know, them cis baths work. Them cis baths work, okay? They really work to comfort after having a baby, I just said that, but it also helps with the Bartholinsis. Sometimes, you know, every woman is kind of different in what her symptoms are and her tolerance and all that stuff. So some people, the cis bath may work. Some people, the cis bath may not work. But what cis baths are, just like I said, it's just literally, it's a little tub. And I got one, but I don't know where it is right now. Um, It's like, it's not, it's a tub. You know, you know, it's a little round, like a little seat. I'll put a picture right here. Oh, here, there you go. And it's, you just sit your bottom in it. You sit your bottom into it, and it's just warm water. Sometimes it has just warm water, and sometimes you put things in there to, you know, help soothe. And then it actually helps the um, the cyst to drain, to drain. And there you go. You feel better when that happens. But that's a cyst bath. That's how they work. On to the next one. Now, if you don't have a sits bath, like the actual little tub thing, it's a circle, little tub thing. If you actually, if you don't have that, you can just get in the tub and do the same kind of thing. Soak in some Epsom salt or something like that. Um, that's usually, you know, comforting, warm, warm to you. It, it's going to make you feel a little good. So, yeah, just don't worry about, like, trying to go out and buy that. I wanted to make sure I threw that in there. You can also, for your comfort, take some over-the-counter medicine, like some Tylenol and ibuprofen or something like that to see if that makes you feel better. Also, that's a good, a good you know, a good option. Um, another one is going to be Phoebe's method now i don't know phoebe but phoebe came up with something that made a whole lot of sense phoebe's method is actually soaking the gauze in a mixture of calamine lotion witch hazel and tea tree oil now i'm a big fan of tea tree oil myself that's a staple in my medicine cabinet tea tree oil is good and i personally have not tried that i will tell you that i haven't tried phoebe's method i hadn't found the need to try that because i got another method we get into it. Just hold on. Okay, so the next option is going to be Silica Complex. Now, this is made from horsetail extract. I don't know what horsetail extract is, but I was like, horsetail extract? <laughs> that just sounds interesting. Anyways, so Silica Complex, it would actually contain like zinc and some other vitamins and stuff like that. Um, you're going to have to look that one up. If you have tried that one, let me wait, 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 wait. If you have tried that one, let me know how that one has worked for you and what that's all about. Horsetail extract, silica, silica. So yeah, this is the one that I have found to be the biggest relief. And there was a lady here on YouTube. I saw her video and she actually told me about this because I ain't know before her. And I put her name right here. Yes, and it is using Prid Salve. And I have some, but you know how it is when you're trying to find some, you can't find it. So the Prid Salve is the thing that has worked for me. I was a sits bather. I was a sits, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm old school. I was a sits bather before I saw her video about using the Prid. And that Prid works. That Prid works. You just put it on there like I do put just put just a very thin amount because what it is print is a drawing salve now I've heard of drawing salves because I'm from the country as you I know you're probably surprised right? you surprised of course you ain't surprised but I'm from the country and drawing salves are prompt you know we use them we, we use them to, to draw out bowls and stuff like that if people get bowls you use that and everything but now this one right here is is the same type of thing but this is one this one you can it's, it didn't hurt me when i put it down there and i was a little apprehensive but because of where the glands are located it's not like you just putting it all up inside of your vagina ladies um so it just put a very thin and it's it's really thick and sticky let me see if i can find it again girl i've been looking for that oh hi i've been looking for that for Longer than I even care to share because that didn't really make no sense. It didn't. I found it though. I found it. So let me show you what it looks like because that's what I was trying to say. 
and it looked like come in this little canister. Ain't that something? Ain't that you? And it looks like this. What do it look like this? Don't say nothing about my nails, just don't, okay? So you see where I've been scraping it out with my nails, but it's thick. It's like thick, a thick paste. A thick, stiff paste. Yeah. A thick, stiff paste and just get a very little bit of that. Just rub it on there and just lay a little piece of gauze in there and then kind of fold it over. It's hard to explain. Uh, maybe I'll make a video. Maybe, do, let me know in the comment if you want like a full video of my routine for how to do that. Because I'll do that for you. You know I'll do that for you, girl. But yeah, this one right here is work. It, it just work. I mean, it work. <laughs> like sometimes I just put it on there once, y'all. Like I put it on at night and go to bed. And then I get up and I do a sit bath. I ain't got to worry about it no more. I ain't got to worry about it no more. So yeah, there we go. Look, y'all, if y'all didn't check out the rest of the videos for the Bartholus series, I worked hard on that. <laughs> and I actually know I think it'll be real informative for you. Let me know, firstly, how you like this video by giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If it was good, thumbs it up, of course. If you was like, nah, this didn't give me what I was looking for, go ahead and thumbs it down. I really want to know. I really want to know. And if you would leave a comment letting me know where I failed you, that would be great, too. But if you like this video, make sure you check out the other videos in the series here. YouTube thinks you're going to like this one. I think you're going to like these. <laughs> so I'll see y'all next time. Bye.